Okay. Um, thank you very much, Chairman. Um, Senator Mitchell, you are very welcome to our committee meeting. Some years ago, you spoke in person at this committee, and um, again, our Chairman outlined the fantastic work, such important work that you did as um, US President Special Envoy to Northern Ireland, and also as Chair of the multi-party talks that led to the Good Friday Agreement. As you know, there's a bridge on the cavern from Manor Border at Ahalane in my own constituency, named after you. It's called the Senator George Mitchell Peace Bridge. <coughs> and as a community living in that area, both in Fermanagh and Cavan, we were delighted that you were able to visit us there some years ago and plant a tree to mark the occasion. And your name throughout all of Ireland is, is, is recalled very fondly, and particularly in the area that I have the privilege of representing. I compliment you on your opening remarks where you summarise so well what has been achieved by courage and good leadership by governments and by political parties and obviously the input of yourself and President Clinton so important as well. Just the first question, Senator Mitchell, you will recall that you took all the political parties to the UK for a mm -hmm. retreat on a given weekend where politics could not be discussed. Can you give us an insight into the psychological thinking in doing this, and what do you think it achieved at that time? Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, what happened was that uh, the agreement was uh, reached in April of 1998, approved in referendum uh, in May of 1998, and then uh, nearly a year later, in July, I believe if my memory serves correctly, about July 16th, the Northern Ireland Assembly collapsed. The uh, two prime ministers and President Clinton called and asked me if I would return to Northern Ireland to try to put the process back on track. And I did. Uh, I spent several months there. The uh, negotiations at the time uh, were narrow, involving uh, primarily uh, the Ulster Unionist Party and Sinn Féin. And for several weeks, uh, we struggled without much success to make progress. And then, I, I can't recall who made the suggestion, it, it may have been David Trimble or Jerry Adams or both, said to me that uh, it was very difficult for uh, them and their party members. Uh, as some of you may recall, the, the meetings took place in a government office building in Stormont, uh, and there was a gate surrounding the building and a single entrance through the gate. And the press media tended to congregate just outside the gate and to, understandably, uh, pepper the, those coming in in the morning and going out in the evening with questions and challenges and comments. And it, it was having a, uh, it created difficulties in the discussions. It's, it's, it's an instance as it was during the main talks themselves, we're trying to balance two valid objectives in the democratic society, freedom of the press, the right of the public to know, and it, which is a valid objective of course, and on the other hand, the necessity for some discussions to take place uh, completely in private. Otherwise, it would be impossible to reach agreement on controversial and contested issues such as we had before us. So they asked that I uh, consider convening uh, a series of meetings uh, outside of Stormont. I consulted with the two governments and at just at that time, there had been completed some uh, renovations on the U.S. ambassador's residence in London. Uh, it's, a, it's a large and a very nice building. Uh, and so uh, we ended up going there. I arranged for us to go there. And we spent about a week before the uh, uh, press found us. Uh, and we did get quite a bit accomplished during that week. There was, uh, I was able to establish uh, uh, some degree of uh, communication between 
members of two parties who had previously uh, not communicated very well. Uh, and we ultimately uh, returned to Belfast and were able to complete a process of putting the uh, agreement back on track. As I said, it was a, it was a one-off situation. Uh, it worked in that instance. Uh, it's impossible to say to what degree that the, the isolation helped or uh, how much, but in, I, I think it did help some, and I think it did contribute to putting the process back together, but I don't think you could conduct a full negotiation, such as the two years that we spent at Stormont working on the principal agreement in that way. Senator Mitchell, and just for a person like you with such vast experience in public life and having held very high office in the United States in Congress, was there any particular lesson or le lessons from that particular engagement and the success of that initiative? 